Welcome to another update from the Force of 13 on how it can uh, Franklin. I'm joined uh, in the studio with uh, Isaac and Hello. Sit, sitting quietly in the background on mute is Leighton and what is the latest on the Howington? Well, currently, David, uh, Franklin has a wind speed of 75 miles an hour. Um, currently, uh, hurricane warnings are in effect for uh, southern Tampico, Mexico, all the way down to around Vera, uh, northern Veracruz. And tropical storm warnings extend all the way down from uh, northern Veracruz all the way down to uh, Costa Colenses, Mexico and all the way up north to northern Tampico, Mexico. Um, again, current wind speed 70 miles an hour on it, moving due west at, I believe, 12 miles an hour um, currently. And um, Hurricane Watts also in effect for Tampico, Mexico too. The wind field extends around, uh, the wind field for the storm extends around 150 miles away for tropical storm force winds and a really small area for hurricane force winds. And um, uh, if you look over towards the graphical two-day weather outlook, we're able to see um, uh, another look at the active tropics. Of course, we have Franklin. We have a new area of interest near the Bahamas, which has a 10% chance of development within the next 48 hours to five days. And also to the left of that, we have 99L, which is still going going on. 10% uh, chance of development within the next five days, I mean, five days, 48 hours, and a 50% chance of development within the next five days. Now, if you look at the other uh, tab, we're able to see radar of uh, Franklin off the Brownsville radar lawn range. Um, if you look to the very bottom of your screen, you're able to see the eye slowly appearing off uh, the radar and the outer band starting to affect Browns, uh, extreme southern portions of Brownsville, Texas. And uh, they'll, we'll, over here in Corpus and Brownsville, will be starting to feel uh, some outer effects and there's maybe some cloudy weather um, and rip currents, but that'll be they'll be mostly surrounded around extreme southern portions of Brownsville, Texas. Now, if you look at the microwave imagery, we can see another look at the storm and how um, it has developed over the past few hours. And as you can see there, um, it's started developing an eye in the last few frames, as you can see, and it's getting better organized. Um, and you get to see that. Now, if you look at GO16 satellite imagery, uh, we're able to see a wonderful view of the storm and natural color imagery or you know visible light and you could see for the past few hours it's really started flaring up a li little bit and trying to get itself organized and um, we'll have a increasing um, amount of intensity over the next few hours and um, has a short window to do so before it starts heading over towards uh, Mexico later on. Now if you look at the other satellite we're able to see another look at Franklin, Hurricane Franklin and this is the um, uh, Rob Top animated GIF of it. You can see over the past few hours, it is starting to get a little bit better, bigger, ah, better organized and um, starting to get consolidated more. Now, if you look at the other imagery of this, the, I believe the sort wave imagery of this, we're able to see another look at this uh, system. And we can see how it's been developing over the next few hours and trying to develop that eye before it makes landfall. Um, this storm is eerily similar to kind of Coral of 2010 in terms of track wise. And um, then if you look at the other uh, water vapor imagery, it's pretty hard to tell the water vapor, um, but you can see the storm, the basic storm right there and the moisture uh, to its north. And you can see it moving along due west, uh, basically with a slight uh, northwestward jog uh, in the, I mean, northwestern, northeastern jog in the past two frames. Now, if you look at the uh, other tab, we're able to see, uh, I believe, the wind shear of the storm on it right now. We're able to see Franklin right there and around 15 knot wind shear, 15 knot wind shear. Um, and if you look at the AOI near the Bahamas, it's around five, I mean, five, uh, 10 to 15 knots of wind shear, a fairly decent environment. And if you look over towards 99L, it is around uh, moderate to light wind shear. And we'll be struggling a little bit over the next few days. The models have been forecasting this storm to develop a little bit over the next few days. And we'll keep a close, close eye on it for you over in Force 13. And if you look at the other tab, we're able to see, I believe, uh, velocity of velocity, uh, your tendency 
um, over here, and you can see wind shear has been increasing slightly um, to the south of Franklin, but it shouldn't be affecting it too much. Again, uh, the AOI near the Bahamas that recently developed uh, wind shear should be lowering a little bit over there for the next few hours. And 99L, it is in a moderate to light shear environment, and we'll have a little bit of, of, of a struggle over the next few days again. But it's after that, um, models have been forecasting this to develop a little bit, but we'll keep an eye on this for you. Uh, then again, lastly, we're, uh, for second to last, we're able to see another look. I believe this is the velocity finally. Yeah, the velocity, you're able to see Franklin right there, a uh, uh, pretty big velocity. And if you look uh, towards the Bahamas, we can see that other AOI and its velocity around there. And if you look at 99L, you're able to see it's kind of elongated uh, AOI. And it, again, should, models have been forecasting it to uh, develop over the next few days. So we'll, we'll see if that comes to fruition or not. And lastly, if you look at the winds uh, radius, uh, an unexpected time for the storm on that tab right there, you can see around Wednesday on 8 p.m. It should start be, uh, being affected by um, tropical storm force winds, albeit they're already starting to feel tropical storm force winds at this present moment uh, along the coastal areas of Mexico. And you're able to see how big uh, its tropical storm force winds are. And I'm gonna hand it over towards David now for ways of contacting uh, Force 13. David. Uh, thanks for that. And before I uh, come on to that, can we go back to uh, one of the uh, floaters? And for our viewers, I just uh, want to know what is Hurricane Franklin's time of landfall. Uh, do we have any information on uh, the rain factor? How much uh, rain? Um, uh, rain? Rain rain forecasts. Go ahead, Leighton. Some areas along the coast and along the Madison Strands could see in rainfall from 8 inches to 15 inches over the next 24 to 36 hours while the system moves through. Um, that will obviously pose a risk of mudslides, landslides, dangerous flash flooding. So if you're in that area, you do need to make preparations for that. Maybe move and, to higher ground. <laughs> and another another word of note: um, if you have one, have been wanting to evacuate right now, near right now, it's pretty much uh, not not the right time to do so. It's the conditions are going to start to deter uh, deteriorate over the next three hours. So if you're planning to evacuate, it's pretty wise if you stay and or at least go to a local shelter where you're at that is able to withstand the hurricane force winds away from the coasts and um, get go into there. Um, if you don't have a shelter, uh, try finding one or try finding a sturdy building uh, around your area that it's at least two uh, stories tall to make sure that uh, any storm surge that heads into the area doesn't affect you. And what do we say about the cloud tops? Uh, how cold? Um, Cloud tops are about minus 75 to minus 85 degrees. It's varying with the new convective burst. Uh, what you're saying earlier about estimated time of arrival, the National Hurricane Center says 2 a.m. Central Time. So that would be making them fall with estimated winds of 75 knots at that time, 85 miles an hour, 130 kilometers an hour. Um, so this system could tighten up more before landfall, maybe intensify a bit more, as the forecast does indicate. It's just a case of making your preparations, evacuating if you can, or getting to a local hurricane shelter before the storm arrives. And we were also talking about uh, Franklin uh, going by the floaters uh, and it's been a, a wobble in its uh, movement. Yes, uh, over the past few frames we've seen 
a slight northwestern, I mean northwestern, northeastern, I'm sorry, jog in the past three frames of it. Now, this could be just a jog and it could just start uh, after this, start uh, just heading due west or it could be a trend. Um, uh, I, I believe it's the first and might be just a little wobble that the storm is undergoing under its intensification. And um, whether or not it keeps going north, we'll find out. And um, if it does, the effects over towards Tampico and Brownsville will be a little bit more um, uh, scattered showers, clouds, maybe some more uh, dangerous rip currents along the areas. And um, but I believe it's just a little jog that the eye is go undergoing because of its intensification and shouldn't last too long. But like I said, um, we'll wait and find out on this. Um, but yeah. And the. Contact details for Force 13 are what, Isaac thinks? Um, they are contact Skype at F00 13 on Skype or add Nathan on Discord, um, full 13 on Discord. Um, I, f I forgot the last two num last four numbers of his uh, fame, but you can add him on Discord as well. And uh, also follow Fa uh, Force 13 on Facebook and Twitter, just type Force 13. Uh, on there too, and um, yeah. And stay tuned to Force 13. Uh, we have uh, down here in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, Invest 90S. We have uh, 99 Earl up there in the Atlantic. I stand corrected on that. And the other one, Isaac. Uh, Further up towards the states, what was that one? Uh, the area of interest near the Bahamas. Um, yes. It hasn't gone tagged. It hasn't gone tagged just yet. Um, it needs to have a twenty or thirty percent chance uh, uh, formation for it to get tagged. But if it does, it'll be called ninety L. And then obviously we have ninety nine L near the Leeward and Puerto Rico area. Um, and again, it should have a little bit of a struggle because of some higher winds here along its area. But again, models have been forecasting it to uh, strengthen and potentially threaten the eastern co coast later on this weekend. But it's too far out to say if that'll come to fruition or not. But like we said, like I said, just keep tabs on Force 13 and the National Hurricane Center and um, we'll see what comes of it. And a special thanks to you, Isaac, and also to uh, young Leighton for uh, providing uh, some of the uh, graphics and as mentioned uh, stay tuned for another update and bye for now